The fish are in the playoffs. They did it. Unreal. It was over so many times. They're down to just two pitchers. A rise is hurt, but they still find a way to win. What a team. What heart. This really makes me laugh. Billionaire owner coming on the field. Keep shelling out the cash. Incredible work from Skip Schumacher, first year manager, building a culture in Miami, as you can see here. Seems like the clubhouse is tight. They dunk Kim Ng, who has had some huge moves this year. The fish just got screwed in New York. Rain delay in the top of the ninth inning, just as they were starting to rally. Four outs left. They're thrown into a three hour delay. Skip is furious, as he should be. I mean, what kind of Mickey Mouse? operation are they running up there? The grounds crew took a smug photo, like gloating, right in front of the Marlins dugout. It was ridiculous. The team gets to Pittsburgh at four in the morning. They have no sleep and they're playing like it the next day. Playoffs on the line. They are down three to nothing in the eighth inning. They turn to Luisa Rice, who hasn't played in a few days after they turned off the lights in Lone Depot Park and he fell and busted his ankle. Classic Marlins moment, injure your own best player. He can barely walk up to the plate. Huge hack on the first pitch. You know he likes to swing. He takes another one and it's 0 oh, Two. But was there ever any doubt? This is Luisa Rise, wizard. He can barely make it up to first base. That has got to fire you up. Josh Bell at the plate slams this ball. I thought it was out of here. He starts ringing right when they need him. Berger with a great single right after. He's been Mr. Consistent. These two trade deadline fellas from Kimming have just been a phenomenal part of the playoff push. My God. Jazz finishes it off with a nice sack fly, and that's a classic come from behind Marlins win. So that was Friday. They clinched on Saturday with just some solid fundamental base. So many things about this team have just got to make you smile. So often they look dead, absolutely lifeless, but then they claw back right when you least expect it. Skip is out there always fighting for the guys. Arise is dumping seeds on Luzardo while he's getting interviewed. Seems like they're having fun and just an unreal improvement from last year. And what have I been saying? You just need a couple guys that have the best years of their career, a couple pieces at the deadline, and the heart has carried them the rest of the way. You ask me, the World Series is pretty much a lock. After decades of suffering, this is what it's all about. Live it up, fish fans. God bless us all.